Honey Dukes. What can I do you for today? And it's your first time here. Oh, you're in for a real treat in more ways than one. I can promise you that. Now, are you here for a gift for someone, or...? Oh, I see. So, searching for a bit of a Christmas present, then. Oh, how wonderful. Well... I could show you the, the birdie bots, every flavor of beans, but pretty much every store has that nowadays. They've become so popular after all. But how about I show you some of my personal favorites, and then we can put them all in a box, and I'll wrap them up for you with a nice pretty bow, and you can give it to your friend for Christmas, whoever that friend might be. Well, I figure since you aren't really familiar with this person and you don't know who they are exactly, because it's a bit of a surprise, why don't we try to choose kind of a range of different sweets? That way we're sure to uh, tantalize their taste buds in some way. Hmm? Great. Well, we actually have a deal going today as kind of a Thank you to our customers, and as a way to kind of say, uh, well, to give you a pat on the back for being so altruistic and generous and choosing to give someone a gift, whatever gift you choose, you will get also. So if you compile a whole box of sweets, you'll get the same box to take home with you. How does that sound? Okay. I thought that might sound good to you. <laughs> well, all right. Let's dive right in, shall we? We have a lot of candy ground to cover. All right. Now, we of course have the more, um, delicate sweets and things that melt quite easily, though you could always place an enchantment on them. I suppose, such as the butterbeer ice cream and um, the birdie bots slushies, but we're just going to stick with the candy that you can give us a gift today so that we can uh, keep everything uh, nice and neat rather than a muddled ice cream mess in the box. Though you're more than welcome to have one while you're here, of course. <laughs> In fact, I highly recommend you do so. This first treat here is called a marshmallow frog. And it's a marshmallow center covered in dark chocolate and dusted with dark cocoa powder. Now, of course, it's in the shape of a frog, hence its name. And when eaten, it will bounce around on your tongue and make soft, ribbiting noises. <laughs> it's quite delightful, actually. It tickles a bit, but it subsides as soon as the chocolate begins to melt, and it turns into a, well, a rather lovely and um, divine marshmallow coat for your tongue. <laughs> um... There's also this one. This is our chocolate-covered trail mix. And, um, whenever you eat these, you'll be able to, uh, well, magically transport yourself to any location within Hogsmeade proper. Uh, hence the name trail mix, because you'll be able to hit the trail <laughs> once you take a bite of these sweets. Now, you must be careful, however, because when you do eat them, you have to focus very intently on where you want to be, or else you'll end up, well, heaven knows where. In fact, I once had these, and well, my thoughts were a bit muddled, and I ended up in the middle of the lock at Hogwarts. 
a bit out of the boundary of the candy, but uh, we ended up having a wonderful day. Lovely picnic on the grounds and all. Then there's this candy, of course, which is one of my personal favorites. They're caramel apple bites. So it's a lovely slice of tart green apple coated in caramel, coated with a light sprinkling of salt to balance out the sweetness. And then on top of all of that, we've drizzled it with milk chocolate. Now this one, when consumed, really doesn't have any magical effect, to be quite honest. It's just absolutely delightful. Now there was one individual once, customer to be precise, who came in and told me that after consuming one of these, they noticed a, uh, a remarkable boost in their culinary skills. Well, yes, before they had the apple, they couldn't even cook rice, and afterward they were slaving away in the kitchen, baking all manner of goodies and treats. It was a temporary effect. I believe she said it lasted for about five hours, but in that time she managed to whip up everything for the local bake sale. So I suppose we all benefit from it, huh? <laughs> this candy here is a cheesecake wedge. So it's strawberry cheesecake dipped in white chocolate, and it's bite-sized, so... Yeah, so it's not too rich. This one will help you to enhance your intellect. So it's ideal for consuming before a big test, or um, if you have an important business meeting coming up. I know that many uh, Hogwarts students come in here and purchase quite a few of these when they're allowed to come into Hogsmeade. And, uh, in fact, we've had to limit them to ten per customer for that reason. Other than being able to make you uh, more clever and intelligent, they also taste downright delightful, so that's a plus. And then there's this one. This is a milk chocolate truffle. Of course, this is honeydew, so it's not any ordinary truffle, of course. This one is filled with a blueberry cream, and then I have another one here that's an orange cream as well, if you prefer. Now, I'm not much of the fruit cream filling person myself, but these are to die for. These particular ones are enchanted with a bit of a romance spell. So if you want to uh, put your sweetie in the mood for love, you can uh, give them this uh, after dinner or before, before a date, something of that variety. Now, of course, it doesn't impose or doesn't meddle with willpower. They have to already be head over heels in love with you, but uh, it will coax things along a bit. And then, of course, there's this one. This is our caramel popcorn cluster. It has four or five good-sized kernels of caramel popcorn drizzled in white chocolate. This one is, uh, well, it's a bit explosive. More of a gag gift, if you will. But uh, I indulge in them every once in a while, too, I will admit because they're just so tasty. This one will, uh, will make fireworks shoot out of someone's mouth. Now, not damaging fireworks. They won't burn their eyebrows, whatever the case may be. Just um, perfectly harmless little fireworks, but it is quite a spectacle. Now, we have some other fruity candies as well. We have lollipops here. Uh, shaped like a variety of different animals, and when you lick them, uh, you, of course, 
are able to sound like that particular animal. A similar candy was featured in uh, the Harry Potter tales, I do believe. Um, let's see, the gum here that never loses its flavor. And we also have these, the jawbreakers, that are like a three-course meal all in one. And we actually borrowed this idea from the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. And the last kind of series of candies I want to show you is this lovely botanical chocolate line that we just started recently. They're all different types of chocolate, so dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, even semi-sweet. And in the middle of them is a small piece of some sort of plant or herb that has a magical For instance, this lavender chocolate here contains a subtle lavender center and it helps to calm your nerves and alleviate stress. The chamomile one will help you sleep through the night and it's lightly coated in white chocolate. And this one here is oregano. And believe it or not, oregano packs quite a magical punch. This one, it'll help you to boost your magical abilities just a bit. Give you that extra kick you need. <laughs> There's a wide range of different herbs and spices we use in it too. The cinnamon one is particularly lovely this year. As it helps you to uh, enhance your Christmas spirit. Now, what candies do you think you'd like to put in the box for your friend and for yourself, of course? Uh huh. Oh, lovely choices. Well, I'll go ahead and get that ready for you, and uh, I'll wrap it up while I'm at it. That way, uh, it can be tied up with a pretty bow. For you.
All right, here's your package. Oh no, this purchase is actually on the house because you're part of the tour group, so there's no need for any payment this time round. But do come back and see us again soon. We hope you've enjoyed your time here at Honey.